Um, Nga mihi o te tauhau. Today is Matariki in Aotearoa. It's the Māori New Year. Um, so it's a public holiday today for the first time, which is awesome, which means we don't have to go to work. Um, we've got plenty of extra time and so we are going sailing. Um, not much wind. We were supposed to leave about two hours ago, but um, we're just doing a quick day sail and because there is not much wind out there, we've actually just decided to hold fire and have a couple more cups of tea. It was a freezing night on the boat. Um, it's we're definitely in the in the winter months now, and I don't know what temperature it was, but it was definitely below freezing. And the boat was covered in we had ice um, all the way up here. We could see, um, so it was definitely a little bit chilly, but not too bad. Light winds today, picking up. Um, Nori's picking up this afternoon. It'll probably kick in a little bit earlier. Usually does. Um, so yeah, could be a nice day sail. Winter seems to be such a good time. She's in the marina, back in the marina at the moment, um, where I know that she's nice and safe and we're just sort of ticking over, doing the odd sail um, every couple of weeks and um, in a few months time, we'll be back out doing some good sailing again. Although, um, in a few weeks time, it's school holidays in two, two weeks, so we might do a wee winter trip up the coast then as well, if the weather looks good. Um, we service the winches, um, we did a few other jobs which um, yeah, which are good and we're just trying to tick off the never ending job list whilst it's winter. Kia I'm recording. Huh? I'm recording. Oh. Radio, so we're sailing along at 1.5 knots. We don't have very much wind, but it's puffing, it's coming and going. Oh, 1.6 knots. 1.6 knots! Holy moly! But at least the motor is off, so <clears throat> that's always the aim when we go sailing, to turn the motor off. <laughs> Alan thinks we should have the motor on because we're only going at 1.6 knots, but I consider that a win. Motor off, 1.6 knots. We know the wind's coming. It just hasn't really arrived yet. about the middle. 1.6. Oh, so it's going below 1.6. 1.65. <laughs> we're hooning along. We have a wake and plus we've got an incoming tide so we're going against the current. So, 1.6. Oh, two point. We're travelling at 2.6 knots, which is a win for us because um, there's not much wind, or hasn't been much wind. But look at the head sail now, beautifully catching a lot of wind. Anyway, coming over there, if you can just see, yeah, it's a little bay called Puro. Um, Puro Bay is just opposite um, Littleton, the other side of the big harbour, the big crater. Um, and it's where a lot of people keep their boats on moorings. It's a really, it's a really pretty place. It doesn't take very long to get over here. So we're just going to go around and have a look, see what cool boats we can see. But we're hooning along now. I've got Alan at the wheel. <laughs> He's absolutely freezing. It is a little bit cold, but. So checking out the boats, some really nice boats over here in Pudo. Obviously, I'm talking about this one in the foreground, not the one in the background. Look at this. It's like a wee little, this is awesome. Oh my God. I wonder who owns this. 
this would be the one. This could be the expedition boat. Mm. That one's okay. Boats everywhere. No people around. <laughs> Crazy. Classic. <laughs> How beautiful is that? She's nice. What's her name? Can't quite see. Ooh. I got the skivvy making the tea. My next boat. Not that I'm ever selling Narissa, obviously. As in the next boat to add to the fleet. Anchored up at Pudo Bay. About to have a cup of tea. Cup of tea. So this little island coming up, this um, is the island of Ripapa and this was a fortified pa for Ngai Tahu. Um, so this pa was built on Ripapa Island in the early 19th century by Tonunu, a Ngai Tahu chief who moved south from Kaikoura. Um, two pa on Banks Peninsula were fortified against musket attacks during the 1820s and 30s and Ripapa was one of these. A pa is a Maori village. Nga mehi o te tauhau, it's Matariki here in Aotearoa. Um, this is the weekend that the Contessa 32 are having their big 50th anniversary bash. Um, and my plan was to head over to the UK and to be a part of that, not on Narissa. Of course, I didn't leave enough time to sail halfway around the globe, but um, unfortunately I wasn't able to make it. So I was super, super disappointed. Um, but in honour of um, all the Contessa 32s and their owners gathering together um, to celebrate what a fantastic boat um, this that she is, um, I decided well I'll just be sailing here on my Contessa 32 um, and be thinking about everyone back in the UK celebrating. So we've got a nice, um, nice very small breeze um, here and it's cold, it's winter time. Um, and so I have to wear like a woolly, but also just to celebrate, just to make sure that I'm, you know, part of the Contessa crew. It doesn't really go on, I not really plan that very well. <laughs> Yo, go the Contessa!